My name is Dr. Gaetano Morello. I am a practicing naturopathic physician. I've been practicing for over 22 years. I have a practice in West Vancouver. Why is healthy gut flora so important? You know, that's a, that is really one of the most important questions you can ask. And, uh, and I'm going to give you some background. Uh, one of the things we know in medicine now is that the caveat of all healing actually occurs on the gastrointestinal level. Well, why is that? Well, most of us know that the gut is important for digestion, for elimination, for the absorption of nutrients. But did you know that 80% of your immune system is located in the gut? Did you know that there's as many neurochemicals produced in the gut as there is in the brain? Did you know the amount of energy it takes to digest foods? And did you know that there's over 100 trillion bacteria located in our gastrointestinal tract? And lastly, did you know that what separates the gut lining from your blood, in other words, all that stuff in your gut, including the 100 trillion bacteria, what separates it from your blood is actually one cell, a microscopic entity. And what's interesting about that is, this to me is the paradox of medicine. For example, that one cell lining has to be strong enough to block these bacteria, to block toxins, to block large macromolecules from getting inside the blood. At the same time, it has to be porous enough to allow nutrients to get inside the blood. So this is really a paradox. So keeping the gut healthy, keeping the microbiome, which is the totality of all the bacteria in the gut healthy, becomes a critical, critical component in maintaining systemic health. And what we're looking in the research now is that increased gut permeability, the breakdown of that lining, really is associated with many of the complex chronic diseases that we now see in our society. So keeping that gut healthy becomes critically important in systemic health. What type of probiotic do I recommend? You know, this is one of the complex questions. And I think most of us know that all the probiotics available, it's very confusing what probiotic to take. And everybody, of course, has the best probiotic, <laughs> but is that the case? And so I think to answer that question, uh, we gotta take a step back. Let's talk about, for example, one of the, uh, a, a very serious infection that one can get uh, when on antibiotics or when in a hospital on antibiotics. And this is something called C. difficile. C. difficile is one of the most difficult bacteria to eradicate and what it creates is it gives you diarrhea and extremely uh, high levels of, of, of gastrointestinal discomfort and so the treatment for C. difficile is giving IV antibiotics. Now I'm going to give you a case. A 38 year old female comes into the hospital, develops C. difficile. She is placed on IV antibiotics for one week, two weeks, three weeks, three months the C. difficile is not eradicated. She has lost over 40 pounds. She was of normal weight to start off with, so now she's in critical condition. What the gastroenterologist did, went into her husband's gastrointestinal tract, isolated healthy bacteria, bacteria from his gut, inoculated her with those bacteria, and the C. difficile disappeared in two days. She's completely healed. What does that tell us? That tells us that human bacteria from a healthy gut are more powerful than the most powerful antibiotics in the world. Why is that? Because the microbiome, the bacteria in the gut, produce bacteriocins that kill and keep in check these bad bacteria. What does this tell us about probiotics? It tells us that human strain probiotics are pretty important. So one of the things that I recommend is human strain probiotics that are room temperature stable. And why do I want room temperature stable probiotics? Because Refrigerated products, I never know what I'm gonna get in the end. Why is that? Because taking a, a probiotic out of the fridge causes death to those back here. Putting them back in the fridge restores it. All out and in, in now we don't have a real control of what we are getting. So I like to utilize room temperature stable, human, uh, human strain probiotics taken daily. I think probiotics are going to become a mainstream uh, 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 supplement to take on a daily basis because it really has an impact on the gut. Why? Because the gut needs a healthy microbiome. 
Primitoff's Ruteri is, you know, has been uh, studied on, on a number of, uh, of, of with different conditions. So uh, Primitoff's Ruteri, much like other uh, Primitoff's line bacteria, you know, are good for immune stimulation. So this is something that uh, uh, people utilize more for those kinds of things. And one of the things that the Primitoff's line has done is tried to really mix a lot of different strains because we think the variety becomes important. This is some of what some of the clinical trials are showing right now.